Okay, I'm going to be drawing some drawing some wall panels. So let me start off with my rectangle tool and just make a little rectangle. I'm going to make my panels uh, four foot wide by eight foot tall. Uh, going to be made out of two by six uh, for the lumber, and the sheathing will be uh, going to make that half inch. Okay, so I got a rectangle. I just uh, click. As you can, you can see, the size is down here, but I just click the rectangle and then I type in my dimensions. Is how I do it. 5.5, which is for inches. If you want to change foot, you got to put the foot sign. But uh, I do 5.5 comma. This is the first dimension. And then the second dimension is 5.5 uh, inches by 48 inches. Okay, so I drew that. I'm going to hit P because I want to go up uh, 1.5 inches, which is the uh, thickness of a standard, uh, mo you know, most lumber. So, got my little 2x6 drawn. That's 5.5 uh, inches this way, 4 foot this way, and 1.5 inches thick. I'm going to make that a component, so I hit my space bar to get my select tool. I'm going to click this three times, one, two, three, it highlights all of it. I'm going to right click it now, I'm going to say make component. Uh, I'm not going to name it, but if you want to name it, you can, but I'm just going to hit create. Now what making a component does is, anytime, now it's, if you don't make a component and you click this, you would just be selecting the top plane. But now when you click on this, the whole piece gets highlighted. So it's good to make components when you're building stuff. Uh, now I'm gonna hit the R button. I'm gonna draw a little rectangle here. Okay, that's, that's not the dimension I want, so now I'm gonna hit comma, because I'm gonna adjust my second dimension. Uh, make that 1.5. Okay, now I'm gonna hit my push-pull tool and make just this piece go up. Uh, I'm going to make that 96 inches. Well, actually, I'm going to make that 93 because uh, I'm going to have a single top plate. I'm going to draw another one right here, so I'm going to get my rectangle tool back. I'm going to hit comma to change my second dimension. 1.5. Gonna hit my push pull tool, make select that go up. Gonna go to 93. Uh, I mean you can make these heights whatever you want. That's just this is just what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and select these and make a component. I'm gonna make that a component. Create. Gonna make that one a component. Create. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click here on this little point here. Click there. Go across to the other point. Click. Hit the push pull. Go up 1.5 inches. Now I got my top plate, uh, bottom plate, and two studs. I'm going to go ahead and make this a component. Okay. Now I'm going to switch around the back side. And I'm going to hit my rectangle tool. I'm going to go from the bottom here. To here. Grab my push pull tool. Push it out this way. And hit 0.5. And now if you look, you can see I got a, my sheathing here and the studs, just like you would be building a wall panel. Okay, I'm going to select this, make a component. Okay, now I'm going to build this panel with a 24 inch on center framing. So 
uh, you're going to get a rectangle. Uh, look, if you if you hover over this, you can it'll crack find the midpoint for you. So now this time I'm going to make I'm going to make this uh, make this rectangle half of 1.5. So that'll be uh, you know. 0.75 so I made it a lot smaller now I'm going to go here and do the same thing so on this side now I'm going to do point uh, sorry comma 0.75 and I drew that now to get rid of this middle one here I'm going to go up here and select my eraser tool and just click on the middle got rid of that now I'm going to hit push pull raise that up do 93 inches and as you can see I just built the stud wall panel now I'm going to make that a component so what I did was I made this a component top plate a component middle plate other side now now what I want to do is uh, I want to paint this thing. I'm going to click on the paint bucket. Here they have uh, wood. I'm going to click on the plywood knots and I'm going to paint everything. Okay. Now that looks like a you know like an actual wooden wooden panel. Okay, now I want to build a bunch of more panels. So instead of doing all this individually, uh, what I'm going to do is select everything, right click. Now I'm going to make it a group. So I'll make a group. Now all that's a group. So when I select it now, I select everything. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to make a copy of this. Uh, Okay. I'm going to click on my move button uh, or I can hit M and it does it. Now when I sh what I want to do is kind of use my mouse wheel and zoom in. You can zoom out and zoom in but I want to move over this and see how that highlights that? Well a little trick is if it, I, I put this on the point, click it, hold it down and as I move it you can see the little green arrow there that means I'm on the same plane now if I want to make a copy I just hit control and it makes a copy for me then I can move it over here and I can click back on this point I can zoom in and get right back on that point so I just made a copy okay now if I say I wanted to make more copies a trick I can just type X let's say uh, I want to make eight of those hit x8 then enter boom it built a whole bunch of walls for me just a little trick uh, I click on my pan button and as you can see I just built a whole wall full of like wall panels okay uh, this is like four foot so that's 8 12 16 20 24 28 uh, 32, 36 foot wall panel and uh, that's pretty simple as you can see I got my individual pieces that'd be just like uh, if I was to build some wall panels uh, laid it all out but okay that's one way to build wall panels just to show you you can play around with some of those techniques